Hello friends, in this video, I am going to discuss what how to use required field validation and compare validator in ASP.NET. So, by using required field validation, so it makes an input control or required field and about to compare validator. So, it compares the value of one input control to the value of another input control or fixed value. So, let's understand by example. So, I written all those things and here I didn't use any validation control. So and here this is the text box and here this is the level control, here this is the button. So this first I am going to execute in the browser. So this is add here waveform to right click on the waveform to and view in the browser. So it's a running and here I didn't write anything and if I directly click on submit so in the database that I store null values okay so add here you can use so like item so it store only first time in the database but if you are using a required field validating data so or add here if you link with this text box so without uh, you should you must enter any values without entering it will give the error masses okay and like this uh, we can do the compare validator with or uh, enter password on this text box and confirm password if uh, both compare and match correctly then there is no any error but if uh, unmatched then that show the error so let's see so at here first i'm going to use required field variator drag draw here now at this place required field variator that required now here after take the cursor right click go to properties now here you can write uh, any meaningful error masses so add here enter your name so if a user or uh, enter or uh, put this blank then the masses here master display enter your name like this add here error masters if user uh, didn't write anything on last name so the error masses come enter last name like this if user forget to or give email then add here the output or display enter your email sorry error message that display enter your email now here this is uh, you should select only required field here remove and here enter the password And here enter confirm password. So this all place that uh, I used to require field by editor. Now take the cursor and click and here I scroll up. Somewhere you can uh, see and here control to validate. So this validate on text. So at here the name is txt first name. Okay. So control to validate. Take the cursor on and here select control to validate txt first name. Like this, this is for at here name is txt last name. Check this. Control to edit lost name and here this is for email 
txt email add here control to validate email like this add here this is for enter password and here this is for confirm password so i fill this all and here i chose to use control to validate on the this text box this all now here after the next is let's cancel close and here run on the browser so run on the browser now it's so opening now here so right here this is the registration form so if i click on submit so right here this is the error master so right here it's so displaying enter your first name suppose if user enter the first name okay forget to enter this on so right here the error error master is on or first name that gone and here but to still or displaying the error master this all so if i enter a smith here click submit error master is on gone on the last time like this and here give us email so it's gone now here get the password so one two three four so your message that gone on the password one two three so error confirm but and here you can see this is the password one two four and here one two three if i click on submit so and here registered registered come successful but i enter for password and confirm password wrong so what we need to do okay so at this place we need to use so at here compare validator track at this place right click properties and here so at this place password must be match Can change the background or foreground. So going to or uh, change the foreground. So it should be a uh, red color. Now you can just copy and uh, paste. So and to here everything turned. Now here after close and view in the browser. If the message compare value to cannot be blank. I forget. So right here let's take a compare value to and here oh, control to validate. So and here control to validate. So this or that control that to or will be validated on at here confirm password and here this will compare with the password now and here this or turn control as and again run on the browser So this time there is no any error. If I click here, read, enter your email, everything. So let's give her name. Fill this all form. And here, if I give her password one two three four. Now that error message that come. But if I enter. The password this time one two three four and here confirm password so both are not same. So right here, or oh, it's so uh, getting the message password must be match. So if I click here getting so by using go uh, and here compare validator so it tried to compare on uh, this two text box. So this two text box contained must be same. So if I enter same or uh, same password. So at here 
this error message that gone. Now after that you can submit. So it has registered successfully. So that's why you are using add here compare validator and uh, required field validator in ASP.NET. So if you want to or uh, give any user or any new customer to enter your name. So this is essential thing. So add here you can use required field validator. So user must enter then after that to do the another process. Without entering, it won't do any register or login. So like this, you can use the add here required field validator on or oh, add your login form. So this is add your login form. Here you can, if you take the cursor and display here required field better. So this, if you want to get the detail required field, so this is error masters. Now here, if I scroll, so four color is the red. And here, control to add it. So it's control to add it or this text box. So user must enter the name without entering it uh, they want login. So this is the reason we are using required field and compare validator. So compare validator generally used to compare two, two text box password. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.